The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy. But now this year is twice as special. Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love in this winter. back to my channel and welcome to part one of my Christmas clean and decorate for 2022. We are starting out in the master bedroom. Next week will be the kitchen and the living room and then the following week will be outside on the porch. We're going to be doing some outside Christmas lights and then also we're going to be doing Oliver's nursery in one of them and the bathrooms. So come back every Sunday for the next few weeks and we are going to be decking this house out for Christmas. I normally start a little bit earlier than this but since we have Oliver's birthday now on November 1st, First, it throws me a little bit further into November which is totally fine but we are in full Christmas mode now and I'm super excited to share all of the stuff that we got for our master bedroom this year I always love lots of reds at Christmas time as well as lots of snowy heavy whites and glam Christmas decor and I love warm lighting so I feel like I finally nailed what I love for a cozy Christmas bedroom this year and I'm so excited to share it with y'all so if y'all are excited for Christmas give this video a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed I would love to have you I upload new homemaking videos every single week but without further ado grab your cup of coffee and let's get started I'm so excited that it is finally time to decorate for Christmas. This is something that I look forward to all year and it makes me so happy to have the house all lit up. They always say Christmas is so much more magical with kids and it is 100% true. Ollie is already making this the best Christmas ever. He wants to help with everything and he's in the cutest stage right now where he's just super chatty and fun. And I'm super excited to start in with all of the Christmas traditions with him, like getting hot chocolate and going to see Christmas lights and all of the fun Christmassy things. I needed to take down all of the fall stuff in our bedroom still, so I went ahead and gathered that all up. And I'm kind of just wiping down mirrors and surfaces to freshen everything up in here before we bring in Christmas. But y'all let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite Christmas tradition to do with your kids. And maybe we can all snag some ideas from each other. I wanted to do our bedroom up bigger than ever before this year with lots of flocked garland and wreaths and red velvet ribbon. I was excited to incorporate red velvet ribbon this year because it reminds me of my childhood for some reason and it kind of brings in a really fun traditional Christmas feel. And so I'm excited to incorporate some of that, but we're going to be moving some stuff around in here. I'm going to move that big mirror over by the fireplace and then I'm going to put the tree in that corner where the mirror is. Um, because that's the corner that you see from the kitchen and I think it'll be really fun to have a tree there And then with the mirror over by the fireplace the tree will reflect in the mirror And it'll still kind of feel like we have a tree by the fireplace and I really like the way that that turned out And now I'm just sticking some Target flannel sheets on our bed These are so cozy if you follow me if you've been following me for a while You know that I picked up some green Christmas tree sheets from Target a couple weeks back but I decided to exchange them for these because I wanted to stick with the whole red and white theme and not um, bring in green too. So I love the way that this ended up turning out. I also picked up a new comforter because ours was getting so gross. Normally I'll update at the beginning of the year but I decided to do it a little early because these sheets just inspired me to have really cozy bedding. So I picked up the coziest comforter from Target and I'll link it in the description box below but Seriously, like this is the coziest bedding I've ever had in my whole entire life. I keep telling Will I don't ever want to leave bed. I just it feels so good. It's so cooling, but also cozy for like those really cold mornings. So I don't know how to explain it better than that, but it is so cozy. And I'll have all of this linked in the description box below. Yeah. Oh, 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 my bells no more. That's for sure. my bells no more. love that's for sure. I don't know what he wants now, and I don't know why he said all the things he said. 
said to me, it means nothing to me now. Cause there will be so on Monday, I'm going to head over to TJ Maxx and Hobby Lobby and Michael's and finish up gathering some things for the kitchen and the living room. And I'm super excited about decorating in there this year too because I've gotten lots of new really snowy trees and fun stuff to add in that I haven't ever done before. And I also found some of the best garland on Amazon. It's a flocked, pre-lit, really full garland that I'm going to be using on top of our kitchen cabinets this year. And I'm so excited. If y'all have been around for a while, you know I've been wanting to do this like every Christmas for like three years. And I just never have gotten around to it. So super excited for that. That'll be in next Sunday's video. But how pretty is this little lace detail on this comforter? I think this comforter is like... I don't know if it's linen or if it's like a material that's like linen, but it feels so cozy and cooling, but it's also really thick and warm. I'm obsessed, y'all. It's so good. I picked up those pillows at TJ Maxx last year, and the lace detail looks so pretty with that comforter. But I wanted to stop and let y'all know that today's video is in collaboration with Lizzie. And y'all, she is on fire this year with her Christmas decor. You're going to want to head over to her channel when you're done here today. And check out her Christmas bedroom decor as well as all of her other Christmas videos. She has a really cute Christmas porch decorating video. And she just has the cutest style. And she's super sweet and down to earth. So I will have her link in my description box below. And if y'all are over today from Lizzie's channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. When it's Christmas time, I light up a fire, gather friends and family. Have a bite to eat and some Christmas sweets Chilling out and watch TV Wrapping up the gifts with my fingertips Making up some fancy rhymes oh, so fancy. Just got something fun for my special one But my love don't cost a dime Waiting for Santa I always love having garland up here above our bed and this one is flocked and pre-lit so it makes my life so easy and here in just a second we're going to add in some red ribbon but I wanted to take a break and head over to this side of the room and put up my new picture from Kirkland's. This is the night before Christmas and I was debating on either getting this or a really big picture of Santa Claus and I'm really glad that I went with this because it tied in really well with my decor when we get all done. It looks really plain right now, but here in just a second, it is going to come to life. I picked up these little wreaths at At Home, and they're so cute. They're flocked with little red jingle bells. And then I'm going to be adding some red bows. And At Home is your store if you need a really good Christmas bow, because they have them already tied for you, so you don't have to worry about making your own. And they're like $1.99. So I picked up two bows for those, and then I also picked up some bigger versions for the outside of our house. We're going to be doing an outside decorate here in a couple weeks. But now for the dresser, we're going to be adding some really big red sparkly trees and a deer and a candle. I hear sleigh bells in the snow, holding on to a bunch of reindeer. He'll be making his rounds, working harder for every year. When the Christmas spirit's all over the town. Now we're headed over to the faux fireplace. I'm just going to dust it down real quick. And I always love having a YouTube ambiance on the TV when I'm cleaning. And this one is a little coffee shop with a red door and a little Christmas tree. And there's snow falling outside and little cars driving by. And it has some really relaxing music. So I'll have it linked below in case y'all want to try it. But I'm just adding some garland to the top here. It is a little bit flopped, but it's more of like an icy flocking. And I'm adding in some little string lights that I picked up at At Home. I'm going to be exchanging those white candles for some red ones here in a minute and I'm going to be adding some glam trees and it's going to look so pretty when we're all done. Working harder for every year when the Christmas spirit's all over town. That big glam tree came from TJ Maxx this year and it actually lights up 
And then the smaller ones came from Target and Hobby Lobby. And then that little reindeer came from Hobby Lobby last year. I think I saw it again this year too though. And I love how cozy and fun this little fireplace turned out this year. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you at this point in the video, I didn't realize that I wanted the tree over on the other side of the room. So I started putting it up here by the window. This is where we had it last year. And I love it here, but it covered up my wreath. And I also wanted to be able to see a tree from the kitchen in here. So it just made sense to move it to the other side of the room. And Oliver was crawling all over the room, getting into all the decorations and having the best time. But here in just a second, we're gonna drag that tree over to the other side of the room. And then we're gonna put that big long mirror here. And I love the way that this turned out because the tree actually reflects in the mirror. And so it kind of gives the vibe of a tree being there, even though it's not. For our Christmas trees every year, I like to cut the ribbon into like five or six inch pieces and make it look like it's woven into the tree. So I'll just kind of tuck it in here and tuck it in there. And that's what I did with the garland on top of our bed. And I love the way that it turned out. I probably need to branch out and try some different things with ribbon, but I am such a creature of habit and I really do love the way that it looks. And here in the corner, I'm just going to add some snowball garland to this tree and some really large red balls, as well as some snowy white balls. We're not gonna do a whole lot to the tree. We're gonna keep it kind of simple since we have a lot of other stuff going on in here. Yeah, it's just gonna be you and me. My mom actually taught me this really cool trick with Christmas tree ornaments. If you push some in and then leave some on the edge, it leaves like a really cool dimensional 
look. And so I, I was trying to do that here with these big ornaments, but they're really hard to work with because they're so large. But I love the way that these big ornaments look every year. We have some really big white ones for our living room Christmas tree that you're gonna see in next week's video. And I also got some new stuff for our tree in our living room because I've done the same thing every year for a few years now. And so I'm trying to change it up the best I can. But I don't know, there's just something about red and white Christmas decor that gets me, I love it. I love the way that these picks look in the top of the tree every year. I feel like it gives a really polished look. And I also feel like this is kind of a Southern thing. <laughs> if you go in anybody's house in Arkansas, they're probably gonna have things poked out of the top of their tree. But I picked up some new red glitter ones this year. I also already had some snowy ones and some, some that look like icicles. And I love the way that this made our tree look. I'm gonna add a little pillow at the end of our bed here that says, and to all a good night. I think that's so cute. I think I picked that up at Michael's last year. And then over here in the corner by the fireplace, I'm gonna add a tree that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just gonna stick it in a basket that I got from Michael's last year. And I think that's so fun over here in the corner by the fireplace. I wanted some sort of a tree here because we had a tree here last year and it feels kind of bare without it. So I think that kind of made up for it. And now we're gonna vacuum everything up and we're good to go. We're gonna pop some popcorn and watch movies. Our bedroom feels so cozy for Christmas this year and I'm so excited to spend the next couple months watching Christmas movies in here. Thank y'all so much for stopping by today. Stay tuned until the end to see little Oliver help himself to some popcorn. But that is all for today. Y'all don't forget to go check out Lizzie's channel. It's linked below. And I will see y'all on Thursday with a little day in the life. Bye! 
Oh, God.